mm -hmm. and Alti perhaps. Like let's say Alti like stopped for a moment to like take a uh, rest for a moment, maybe restock ammunition. Probably not. Uh, but you both feel like both on each shoulder. You feel like a uh, tapping, and then it's like yeah. slightly bored voice. Hi, do you need help? And uh, look get towards the voice and see who it is. Uh, so it's a guy that it's like a spandex uniform. He's completely bald. <laughs> oh god. God. Oh god. <laughs> do, 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 Why? Do, do, do. <laughs> Are you just pulling random superheroes from other universes into this epic battle for no reason? <laughs> there is a reason. There is a very good reason for that. We, and we know the reason. If you don't remember it, but I do. I may have forgotten yeah. it. Yeah, but I what is it? Uh, and you are? Ah, uh, name's Sa Saitama. <laughs> oh, no. I, I have a question. Mm. Yeah? Is the... Is, yes, is the guy in golden armor an enemy? Is he like attacking our allies or is he attacking our enemies? He's attacking enemies. Okay. Then I won't go cut him with the God Slayer sword. <laughs> yeah, because as all of this happening, so there's also at the same time you hear a voice of. which seems slightly like smug and very. like. He knows something just went according to his plan, or maybe not to his, but something went according to his plan, and he's very, uh, not happy, but eh, happy about it. And he's like, do you reinforcements? And then, uh, it will be just simpler to see, because there is like a, the domes of dust and ice just like pff, go away as there is another flash of light and explosion of energy out coming outwards from uh, Yggdrasil. And uh, then you see visages, like many different shapes, humanoid, non-humanoid, uh, coming through it, even though they were coming and there is one shape like in the middle, in the center, which it's probably not its true form, but uh, to be visible from that distance because like Geofigra is still like 150 kilometers away. And um, imagine like a humanoid shape, but that's completely made from light that, that it has no distinctive feature, no face. You can see like legs and arms, but apart from just a being of pure. And then he projects a loud voice that carries an echo through uh, entire battlefield. And then uh, he says, Mortals, mad gods, here I come to free this world, to free this Those who are my enemies tremble before me. Those who are my allies, welcome. I am eternal, I am endless, I am... I am the second one and I welcome you to my war. Um, <laughs> Saitama then one shots him. <laughs> <laughs> Saitama is his servant. Mm. <laughs> and uh, the first time Ender so sees his visage, it's like it even you do not, not, do not even think about it. You suddenly appear in front of him. You just didn't teleport, and then you. Uh, it's just your entire soul, mind, and body tell you to do that. And then you put a blade, like 
into like ground, the tip of the blade into the ground, uh, and you kneel before him as a sign oh of swearing the. F this is what I meant by taking up the God Slayer blade and taking an oath. It, and this guy is a bad guy. He's no. Oh, okay. He is the enemy of the gods. Okay. All right. I don't mind hunting down gods for the rest of eternity. That sounds like a fun way to. Yeah, that's what I said. That forever. I mentioned, like I hinted that that uh, taking up this blade is to abide a certain contract. Is to yep. like you change, said that change, multiple change. times. And this fate is connected with this entity. The second entity in the entire movie. That probably okay. saw the Yggdrasil being born. Who's the third entity in the universe? So... Uh, there is no third entity. There's like a first, second, and the third is like a line of the pantheon that decided to rebel <laughs> against the, f the creator of everything, the first one. Mm -hmm. And partially from that, they are also the creators of this purgat. So he's like... Okay. You feel like kind of small compared to him, and then like slightly like his forms shrinks for, but not. And he like like you feel his gaze uh, falling upon you, even though uh, he doesn't seem to. Uh, I see you found the God Slayer blade, and. The I welcome you in my ranks. This is the des no, before he said I welcome you in my ranks. He said, "This is the destiny that you've decided yourself." Now I welcome you into my ranks. I am glad to be welcome. Now let's go kick some god ass. Indeed, it is due time to make them feel fear again. And we shall wage war that will be forever remembered in legends. I crack my knuckles. Then you break your own hands. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how he took himself out of the fight. Uh, not really. Wait, okay, I'm wait, just like, I... There are many, many different, like, his... Okay, they are not exactly <laughs> originals <laughs> from their worlds, but some of them are, some of them are, like, exact Carmel Mimikrai copies of heroes of uh, legends and whatnot, or bad guys. And some of them are, like, mere puppets with like black void into the eyes. Some have like, and this is just like I... few examples of cavalry that he. Brought. I only don't know who the bottom three are, but I think the bottom right one, one is, is Alex prototype? Mercer. Yeah, I was about to yep. say. I think that's Alex prototype. Mercer. This yeah. one and this one, I don't know. Uh, this one, uh, the one in the middle on the bottom is the picture that I found when I was looking for Thanatos from Persona. Mm. Ah, okay. And and the one to the left is one of the generic images of Arcane. Okay. But yeah, those six archangels that Robert called from Whitegate are archangels from not this universe. I'm surprised you're able to summon this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Mm. This one. <laughs> Kamizotoma? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you know, his right hand is a useful tool. Given that his right hand would also keep you from summoning him. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Not really. Uh, I forgot. Where is he from? Uh, uh, a certain magical my index. My magical index. Which the light novels are mediocre at best. Yeah. I like the, the anime is actually the pretty good. Short. Yeah, oh. but I guess you know which. I read uh, the light the, novel. This guy is. This guy. You know I don't know who this, this one is. is. This guy is Karna from Fate Apocrypha. Yeah, I know that one. That one's fucking broken, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> they said that. He needs a nerf. <laughs> basically, they said that Karna, in terms of power, he might be even stronger stronger in, than Gilgamesh. He is. Yeah. In a, mm -hmm. in a straight up fight, Karna would actually kick Gilgamesh. Not kick Gilgamesh's ass, but they he would win eventually. Mm. Yeah. And Although who's I... the guy with the epic mid riff? <laughs> That's Gilgamesh. <laughs> That's the I know Google you are Google. trolling me. Mm. Uh, who's the who's the guy with like the uh, the 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 tattoo man? Jeez, needs to learn to lighten up. Mm. Kratos from God of War. I know, I'm a horrible person. Yes, you are. So yeah, cavalry has arrived, and what proceeds is a battle that spans a day a or two. Saitama kicks everyone's asses in like five minutes. <laughs> Pretty much what would happen. <laughs> yeah. Saitama, find the biggest things. Yeah, he does, he's like a big puncher slayer, and but usually he just leaves the work. Like, he only intervenes when there's like a very dire situation. And in less of the day, the battle finally subsides, gates are annihilated and obliterated into nothingness. I mean, White Gate stays. And uh, the day is the day that forever, no matter what will change, no matter how much time it will pass, uh, it will be remembered as either Battle of Ragnarok or Battle of Yggdrasil as the area that started spanning not only Dragon Island, but also uh, Yggdrasil itself and surrounding areas and obviously <laughs> I don't even need to like say their like shout out anime attacks but all of the heroes I mean the heroes the things that have been unleashed uh, they are obviously unleashing their like signature attacks as in, no, unlimited Blake Wars, Bla Gate of Babylon, Devastator attacks, and. I need to go, guys. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Zach, the fight is pretty. Zach, don't you war. forget it. If I you will forget not. it, I will haunt you. I will not. You you will hear about it Monday. I'm I, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, Jai. Good. Before you go, before yes. you go, you must remember one thing. Oh God, he's gonna do it. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. That's no, those words are not reserved. Those words are reserved for a very special occasion. It's reserved for the final for, for the final words. Don't they have do to it. be the final words of the campaign. They have to be the final words. Don't waste them on me. No, carry on. Forget about me. Remember to drive safely. Thank you. Okay. I will. Okay. See you on Monday. See yeah. you on Monday, guys. Uh, see you on Monday. <laughs> so, yeah. Aye. Ages later, millennia later, uh, battle will be remembered as Battle of Yggdrasil, Battle of Ragnarok, or Battle of Frink of Purgatory, Arrival of Second, or something like that. People will, and Bards especially, will be coming with many different names. Of course, the world will change. In case I ever run another campaign in this world, and I have some ideas, but not so I need to rest slightly from uh, from uh, guest out campaigns. Like there, there won't be a map. I just like there are two tedious, and instead this will be the center of the world. The Dragon Island in the future, 200 years from now, it will be a flying city state. Like the entire island will be covered in like cities, villages, and whatnot, almost like a uh, almost like a what was the fucking name of Empire? Uh, uh, Kursant? Yeah, Kur Giant Planet City. Anyway, as the battle subsided and people either started taking care of dead or just deciding we survived and we just want to sleep and they just started falling where they fight it assuming it was like a not a coldy or safe area to sleep they wouldn't fall asleep on the uh, sea or the deep gulf 
so yeah, we see like the immediate aftermath as most of the people are just grateful that uh, they survived they're like sleeping wherever they can amidst destruction destroyed building and then majority of eternal wonders you including uh, with Varion and Asmario uh, are gathered in front of uh, second one which he he doesn't look like a being of pure energy but he also doesn't show his uh, face he's like mostly cloaked but it is obvious like aura of absolute power like he feels like over over uh, like something like something that not even origin bullets can scratch and uh, greetings immortals that was a fine battle and greetings to you my servant not maybe not servant but some synonym word for instead of like servant that is less degradatory when um, he like looks at uh, uh, looks at uh, Asmarius and Asmarius just like with a vassal smug smile on his face uh, just bows deep and just says it's good to see that millennia age old plan finally came to fruition Indeed it is. Obviously, at this point, Endif is standing in a line behind second one, alongside other of his, like, troops and servants and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Now, this is only a beginning. I won't waste time here, and I really don't need to waste time on convincing you uh, to go. And he like quickly explains, obviously, because I don't really want to roleplay that.